P. Diddy going broke? Let's talk about it. This is Rich Lush with the hottest news on YouTube. Okay, guys, let's start with this huge drama that everyone's talking about P. Diddy going broke. I recently came across several articles that you guys have been blowing me up on my Instagram. A lot of times people say, so, like, how do you know what to talk about? And I'd say, it's you guys. You guys send me DMs on Instagram and Snapchat and wherever the case is, wherever it is. Twitter and you're like, Rich, can you talk about this? And then I get enough of it and I talk about it. Okay, so I have this receipt. Diddy allegedly held freak out parties with underage girls and sex workers and had hidden cameras in every room of his house. Producer Lil Rod claims in a bombshell lawsuit he was drugged and woke up naked in bed with Diddy and two sex workers and claims to have hours of video evidence documenting Diddy's serious illegal activity. Rod also alleged that Diddy possessed compromising footage of every person that attended, including Hollywood's biggest name, and even royalty. He says the freak out parties were career opportunities for young upcoming artists and Diddy had music execs financially backing them. And it says, um, it's I think the Daily Mail, I believe, could be wrong. It says Diddy owes the bank nearly a hundred million dollars after taking out eight mortgages on his three extravagant homes in Los Angeles, Miami, that were raided by Homeland Security. This is the thing which sparks the conversation is p diddy even worth one billion dollars i mean that's what a lot of people were thinking speaking of money and things like that i recently went to louis vuitton and i bought two things so one of the things i got was this this is the stupidest thing i got from louis vuitton which is this right here you open it up it looks like a bag but it's it's literally straws yeah they're straws check it out right here they're gold plated straws it has a louis vuitton emblem on it and they also have it in silver here, the thing to clean it. It's fun. It's so stupid. I think there's something about it so bougie to pull out your own Louis Vuitton straws. Like, what? Anyways, I got that. And then the other thing I got was a bag from Louis Vuitton. So let me show you that. Um, I pre-filmed a little unboxing. Then we'll get back to the PDD drama. Here we go. Roll it. Okay, okay. A Louis Vuitton haul. Okay, I went to Louis Vuitton today. I picked up this bag, and I want to show you what I got. Okay, so... Um, I'm excited. Well, first of all, like, don't come for me because, like, I already own this bag and I bought it again because it's, like, the newer version of it. So, this is, oh, sorry, it's my cat right here. Hold on. You want some attention? Hold on, guys. Yeah, you can have some. Yeah, here you go. Want some? Here you go. Okay, see you later. Go. Okay. All right, so this is the original bag, the Toiletry 26. It looks like this. You guys know about it. It's a super rare bag. Every now and then they say it's going to get discontinued. This is the inside of it. I have traveled with this bag to Vegas, New York, Miami, Disney. It's perfect for just putting all my toiletries in there. Um, stuff has spilled, but it has that material you just like wipe it. So no issues at all. It's a great bag, but there's a new version of it. And I've been looking at it and I'm like, eh, why not? Let's go get it. So this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So here's the new, the new version. Here it is. For all the haters, you know, here's him talk, girl. Okay, this is the box. Voila. Ooh la 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 la. Here it is right here. Now, I already know, we are gonna say, yeah, uh, that's fake to have. That's fake to have. Here's the receipts. I have all the receipts and deleted tweets right here. And then here's this here. It came to that. Put that right here. Here's the bag. We're gonna open it up. Ah, oh, let us see. This is it right here. All right, this is the new 2326. 20, um, it looks more masculine with the, like this color detail. It's still like the, the canvas, and I'm gonna zip it here. Watch. Here's where it gets very interesting, because the inside of it, it has, oh, hopefully you guys can see it. Like, hold on. So in here, there you go. There's like these six, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, so you can put your credit cards in there. And it has like this pocket detail, and then for those who care, came with this, and then there's like another thing in here too. Um, I think there is in here. Oh yeah, here it is. Show your essay this if you want it. You can screenshot that. That's the unit number and all that stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, it very much is like, it's cool. There you go. You can see the pockets here. So it has two pockets. You have one here and one here, and then you have six card holders, right? And then on this side, it's just nothing. This is the old one. The old one was just like plain Jane, throw your stuff in there, and that's it. This one, it makes it more fun because you can actually put your credit cards in there. And then if you go to Etsy and you buy the insert, you can turn it into a crossbody. So that's pretty much it. So at the end of the day, it's all just like materialistic stuff, but I really liked it. So it just trash at the end of it. So hope you enjoy my Louis Vuitton unboxing. Let's get back to the truck. Grab a snack and come on back. Okay guys. Oh, I do want to say thank you so much to ColourPop. Girl, ColourPop sent me this huge freaking thing right here in PR. 
And you guys are gonna be seeing this at Target, Walmart, your drugstore. This is what the packaging looks like. It's called So Juicy is the name of this, like, this collection. You open it like this. You do these double clicks, like a little pin. You go like that. It comes in an array of different colors. Just put it on like that. Now, it, it does look juicy, mm -hmm. but it's all about like plumping. It does plump your lips. So check it out. It's so juicy, so plump. And here is the ad. Some information on the back. It came in the PR package. Thank you, ColourPop, for sending this to me. I got it in PR. I've used it today when I first got it. Let me be honest with you. It does plump your lips without the stinging sensation of like the Too Faced limp injections. Like you get what I'm saying? It's like that type vibe. It does leave like a cooling effect, like a minty type vibe. They come in so many different colors, so you can pick one out if you want. But mm-hmm. I got, oh, the color I'm using is, this one is called Guava Glaze. I like it, although I think the Too Faced lip injections will really make your lips super plump. This is kind of like a, little me like a little to medium plump type vibe without the stinging sensation but it worked it's just not like it's kind of like that makes sense okay anyways let's talk about the p diddy mess girl okay so i had to change the battery on my camera so check this out i felt like this p diddy thing i thought was gonna fizzle out and die but it's just getting more and more interesting the amount of receipts that are coming out from like who is it justin bieber and usher speaking out the amount of y'all so it looks like things are finally falling apart for diddy and let me tell you it's not pretty after two weeks of bombshell allegations against him exposing his dark side the ultimate blow landed because he has gotten fired from his own company revolt tv but that's not all because every single one of his sponsors and partners and brands is dropping like flies and it looks like he might be going broke bro diddy has been having emotional damage after this because he knows that this is the end of the road for him and his career might be over but y'all won't believe what's happening next because there's a major plot twist that we never saw coming it looks like p diddy has stepped aside as chairperson of revolt tv because of all those allegations that's been coming out now according to tmc and sources closest to them they have direct knowledge that p diddy has decided last week that he'd make a temporary move away from revolt tv well this whole diddy situation has taken a major nosedive and at this point it's clear that he's on his way down and nowhere else. I'm not trying to throw shade, but things have been bad for him and they're only gonna get worse from here. But you know what? I think that Cassie planned this all along. I mean, there's no way she wasn't aware of other women who got hurt by Diddy. And I think this is why she decided to file the lawsuit. Diddy was apparently trying to sort things out behind closed doors before he made it public, but she wasn't having any of that. Her lawyer said, Mr. Combs offered Miss Ventura eight figures to silence her and prevent the filing of this lawsuit. She rejected his efforts and decided to give a voice to all women who suffered in silence. Miss Ventura should be applauded for her bravery. So she dropped the lawsuit and it's been a wild couple of weeks for Lil Diddy, but the drama's still going strong. And it's been two weeks in and he's still trying to do damage control. But if you ask me, Cassie knew what she was doing all along because it was the best way for her to get revenge. For one, she ended up exposing him and she was showing the world the dark side of Diddy that he has kept secret over the years. And listen, none of us expected him to be this dark. Also, she played the smart game and made some good money out of it. You see, by making things possible, Public, I bet she managed to negotiate a fatter settlement than what she would have gotten if she hadn't filed. Rumor has it that she might even settle for $100 million. Now, I can't confirm that tea, but one thing's more sure, she got way more than $30 million that she initially threw on the table. It's like a strategic win-win move for her. She played her cards right, spilled her tea, got a hefty paycheck in the process. But some people are out here saying that she was just after the money from the get-go. But honestly, I think we need to give Cassie her flowers because she pulled a move that not people out of the woodworks coming out and saying things about him it's very interesting but at the same time like i'm not surprised by it i think even suge knight even came out and said something that i was like what it's just the whole thing is a mess right and i don't understand oh people are saying that jay-z's next i was like what not jay-z i don't know the thing is i just i don't personally want what happened to r kelly to happen to p diddy I think it's just interesting. Like, I don't understand why he can't just, like, face the face it, you know? Like, go to court or settlement needs to be involved. Like, what is going on, right? And then just, like, pay your time. If you did something wrong, pay your time. Do the do. Like, not you running and fleeing to like, some island or something. It's just not a good look. If you didn't do anything, why are you running? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, this, this is... Um, 
This is very telling. And I think that a lot of us people, we think that these celebrities like a P. Diddy are just like billionaires and stuff like that. And in reality, they're like struggling to stay afloat, trying to make a dollar, make a holler or something like that. Like trying to do something because I mean, the fact that he has 150 something million dollars in debt or something like that, or all these houses, like I know it sounds bad. Like, and right now it's all speculation. There's pictures floating around about P. Diddy's pacing back and forth and you know, every he's under the microscope right now. I can literally see him just staying inside, praying that something else happens so it blows over so he can, what is his next step? Like, what do you do in this type? What do you do in this situation, you know? And again, I just want to circle back and say things like, I think a lot of times we look at some of these celebrities and we think that they're very well off and in actuality, they're not. That's my opinion on that. So I don't know. I just wanted to say that. And I think that there's a lot of videos that are now being made on TikTok, scrutinizing him, more celebrities are coming out. I mean, I've seen people who don't even really know him are now like coming out and saying, like they're saying things like, oh, he did this to me, did that to me. And it's like, but you don't, that never even happened to begin with, you know? So I think there's a lot of lies going on. Speaking of lying that's going on, we're gonna talk about Lizzo. Lizzo now has come forward and said that she is quitting the music industry. Yeah, I have the receipt right here, actually. So Lizzo posted on her Instagram story and she said this. She said, I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views. <laughs> being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look. My character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. I don't sign up. I didn't sign up for this. I quit. Girl, bye. I don't care about Lizzo like that. You're a freaking multi-millionaire. You're a recording artist. It comes with the gig, girl. People talking about you negatively or positively, it comes with the gig. I don't feel sorry for her. I'm sorry. I just don't. You think Beyonce cares about what people say about her? No. They just You just keep going. You think Lady Gaga cares? No, you just keep going. You, people leave negative comments on my videos all the time. I'm not, not going to quit because I get a negative comment. You just got to keep pushing through. So I think to Lizzo, I think this is attention-seeking behavior. More and more people are catching on to what how she does because i've been watching lizzo every every couple months she'll drop she'll drop so woe is me type thing woe is me feel sorry for me here we are again people are catching on to lizzo and her mess girl i don't feel sorry for her she's multi-millionaire i just don't feel sorry for people leaving negative comments girl post your videos post your music and don't read it and get away i mean that's the truth all day long okay you're a big girl people there's a lot of fat phobia they're gonna hate on you the house you already know the gig so don't cry about it it's just the way of the world, okay? People say stuff about me, I'm just keep pushing. Water off a duck's back, girl, keep it going. Anyways, I'll have to say this. Doesn't matter what I think about any of this. What do you folks think about P. Diddy and the Lizzo situation? Because I really want to know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Rich Lux with the hottest news on YouTube. Mwah.